Hi everyone, I'm starting off 2021 with a tutorial on my DIY dress form. It was my first time attempting this, but I think she turned out quite well. She even has my horrible posture. I started off the way I usually do, by wrapping myself in surround wrap and covering that with tape. Because I have a tendency to faint and I was home alone at this time, I decided to not tape all of myself in one go, just in case I got dizzy. So I started with my leg and because I wanted to get the crotch area correct, I also taped up the top of my second leg, just so I could be sure that it wasn't shifting around. I can really recommend having someone help you because it can be quite tricky to get in, well, all of the spaces. <laughs> this is almost the same procedure as I did for my Totally Spice costume, so I'll make sure to link that tutorial down below. And before you cut yourself out, make sure to mark where your seams will be. So I have two side seams, a middle front and a middle back seam, and on both the front and the back I have two seams that go over the widest part of my breast, the apex, uh, down to the middle of my leg. Because I did my lower and my top half of my body separate, I made sure to really mark my waist so I would know where to connect the bottom and the top of my pattern. Be very careful when you cut yourself out of this because the tape makes it quite tight. For the top area I made sure to be extra precise when I was covering my chest area because that is the part what I have most trouble with when I'm making my patterns. Once I freaked myself of all the plastic, I cut it up on all my seams. If you have never made a tape pattern, make sure to check out the tutorial that I linked. Oh, make sure to mark all your pattern pieces to know which one is the front, which one is the back, side front, side back, etc. After pinning my tape pattern to the paper, I traced it, and this way I could clean up any jagged lines that I may have from cutting the tape. I also added some seam allowance. I use one centimeter. I am using this canvas fabric because it is quite sturdy and it hardly has any stretch in it. It wasn't long enough to cut my pattern piece at once, so I actually cut off my lower leg of my pattern so I can do those separately and then just sew it back together. Make sure to mark on your fabric which pattern piece is which as well, because this gets very confusing very quickly. Once all my pattern pieces were cut out, and here you can see on the left where I connected my lower leg pattern piece to the rest of the pattern piece, and I started out with sewing those lines, so I can have the long pattern pieces, and then started connecting these to each other. And I keep continuing this until most of my seams are connected. I left open the middle back and the crotch seam for now, so the seam that closes up your legs, so I could really take the time and iron all my seams flat. If you have any curves, like in the crotch area, make sure to notch them. So you just give a little snip, do not cut your thread, but this makes sure that your seam will lie flat. After I've sewn all of that together, I realized that I needed to have a neck piece. So I went back and taped my neck and marked about where my neckline ended on the dress form sleeve that I had so far. And then marked a middle seam, a middle back and a side seam on here as well. For my stand, I use PVC pipes. I started with a rectangular, almost square base. So I just stood in the center with my legs about hip width apart. And then I measured where the middle of both my legs would be. 
And for me, that was about 22 centimeters. So I measured this out and I made sure that these two T joints would end up 22 centimeters apart. And I did the same for the top that will be inside my shoulders, but with two elbow joints instead of T joints. It took me a little while to figure out exactly how I wanted it to be, but this is what I ended up with. I will put the measurements on screen of these pieces so you can pause and check them out. Unfortunately, some of my T-joints had rubber in it because they were actually used for plumbing, so I could not get them glue dried, and I decided to just change up my base completely. And this is my second version, which is quite a lot smaller, so it makes it easier to store as well. I wanted my dress form to be the same height as me, so I put two PVC pipes in that bottom stand that I made, and then stood next to it to see how tall I wanted it to be and how high my shoulders would end. I marked it and then cut the PVC pipe there, and this is what my stand looked like at that moment. Here you see my dress from sleeve turned inside out, and I sewed up that middle leg seam, and I ironed it as well. Then I needed to close off the legs. You can just sew a bit of a tunnel and then string some thread through it so you can pull it tight and close it off. But I wanted to try if I can make a sort of a bottom plate for it to make it look really clean. So I measured the width of my leg opening and then calculated how big of a circle I needed. I just used the first circle calculator that I found on Google. Your leg measurement is the circumference and you need to calculate the radius to be able to draw your circle. Cut those out, marked out the circle that I would need for my PVC to go through. Carefully cut some notches so that PVC would fit through it and then sewed it right sides together inside that pant leg. And here I cut out that pattern that I made for my neck, sewed it, ironed it, and sewn it onto the dress form sleeve. And then I had to calculate the circle that I needed for the neck as well. So measuring the neck hole to get the circumference, then put that measurement in my calculator and calculate the radius. I put a dot in the middle of my fabric, measure out that radius measurement and just put dots around there until it becomes a circle. And I did the same for the armholes. Although those were more oval shaped than really round. Once all of that was sewn together and I just had the middle back seam open, this is what the sleeve looked like. And then it was time for stuffing. So my mom bought a new mattress and I decided to cut up her old one because it was free. <laughs> it does make it quite tricky to get the stuffing of the dress form smooth. So it's probably easier to use a pillow stuffing that you can buy in these ginormous bags. But, you know, broke life, so... <laughs> I used a electric turkey cutter to cut up the mattress in chunks, making sure to have symmetrical pieces for both sides of my body. And then I sewn it with a curved needle to connect pieces together. And I took it really slow and just built up layer over layer over layer. I used some thin sheets of foam to make it a bit smoother and less bumpy. To make it easier to get the measurements correct, I laid down on this piece of wallpaper and I traced around my body. Then I marked around every 10 centimeters or so and I laid back down on the paper so I could mark these markings on my own body with some washi tape.
Then I took my measuring tape and measured the width of my body at all of these measurements. This way I could put my dress form on top of this paper and measure very easily if I needed to add or subtract any more stuffing. Just remember that the dress form doesn't have shoulders so you can't calculate around at that part. When my legs were padded, I started putting on the sleeve over the stuffing. This was a bit tedious, so just take your time. For my butt, torso, and boobs, I went in with some pillow stuffing. Because that was a little easier to fine tune in my measurements. And... To really get the boobs correctly, I actually ended up using a old bra. I stuffed it and then pinned it onto the PVC pipe. And then just keep stuffing and measuring until you have everything correct and you're happy with the shape. Then you can close up the back. I decided to use a ladder stitch. I will put a tutorial in the description that shows it in a little more detail. So this was the first version. And then after changing the PVC base, I sewed that entire sleeve again, but in a red canvas fabric. I really like it because it's completely pinnable. And this one is exactly my height, my proportions. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed my tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can subscribe to my channel and make sure to check out my Instagram and Facebook.